Hey, Daddy Jack's going to Blues here with Glenn, Glenn Peltier on camera. I don't know if we're, we're going live. Are we going live, Glenn? We're trying. We got the technology? We got the technology. So, hey, you know, we're down here first day back. You know, uh, we got the word Monday, you know, the, we had the bars, restaurants, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. Or I don't know about Rhode Island. Uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey. And, uh, you know, it hit us like a ton of bricks. Everybody across the United States, you know, trying to make the best out of it. And uh, so we decided we're going to open a takeout curb service. And, uh, you know, we're trying to do it. We're going to try to do like a Q&A. I mean, somebody said they want to do a Q&A. You got a, got a question from somebody there? I, I got a whole bunch coming in, Jack. So I'll try to read them as I, as I do it for you. How's that? Okay, go ahead. Uh, let's see, everybody's saying hi. I got Abby Normal. Hi, Abby. I got Chicken Ginger. Chicken chicken Ginger? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute now. My demographics are like, <laughs> my demographics are like 97% men and 3% women that follow my YouTube. So this is kind of abnormal. I don't know what's going on. Go ahead. Uh, Bob T, stay strong, guys. Thank you, Bob. Here's one from Canada. Canada. Uh, Dak Zev, it looks like. Love Canada, Canadians. Uh, my grandparents had a place up in Nova Scotia. It's some of the really uh, solid people, and uh, you know, pure. You know what? It was down in uh, in Florida, and uh, down in uh, uh, Fort Myers. Big enclave of Canadians uh, coming down there. You know, I'll get spot them because they had a speedo on. But, uh, but nice, nice people. Baby girl just said, ask, ask if you were single. What's up, baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Single, ready to mingle? No, uh, I'm, uh, I've, I've, I've got, I'm attached. Here's one, Malcolm from Ireland. Malcolm. I got 18% Irish, Malcolm, and uh, it's on my bucket list. I hope, but God willing. Come over here, Pastor Jack. Come on over. Oops, Pastor sorry, Jack, boy. speaking of God, uh, Pastor Jack is here with us. Uh, we're open We're open for... Uh, we're, we're open for takeout curb service. We're doing the limited menu pizzas. Uh, B, B is over on the oven. And uh, we came in, we just fired it up. We've been shut down for three days. We said, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do what we can do. And just we'll do what we know how to do. And uh, uh, Pastor Jack, we're getting the ch church community involved. Anybody in need, and uh, it's on a need, per need basis. You know, we're, we have a, uh, we're doing small kits, pasta, I mean, uh, uh, pizza making kits with dough, uh, sauce and cheese, and one or two toppings. Maybe you know people can make the pot, you know the pizzas at home. And uh, Pastor Jack, you want to give us a, a quick word of inspiration? Uh, we're just hanging in there. We're doing the best we can do with the help of Jack, Daddy Jacks, and uh, we. I, I love the uh, pizza kits. What better way to eat, enjoy the fine food of uh, of Daddy Jacks than to have your own that you could just put together, sit in front of, put in the oven, go watch a movie. And, and have nice fresh pizza with nice fresh mozzarella and, and it's toppings. A it's a family it's, affair. It's a family affair. Yeah, you can't yeah. you can't get it here. You can get it there. Pizza, uh, pizza's dough for cheap dough, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is the big daddy here. This is the number oh, no. one. This is the number one daddy. Oh no! Whenever Pastor Jack's in the house, I, I, I relegate to number two position. But That's just how it goes. Well, his food is number one. Let's put it that way. I'm just trying to get closer to the man upstairs, and I'm trying to bring him with me. So, but we're gonna do it together with our taste buds today. Oh yeah! Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 So, uh, any more questions before we get? We're doing a. I'm doing a quickie. Uh, kind of. It's kind of a. A chicken alfredo sauce, okay? This for at home, you know, it didn't take you a whole long time to, uh, to make it. Uh, I've got onions, some red onions, white onions, and uh, I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna put some garlic into it. I'll put some fresh garlic, okay? So, so we've got that going on in there, and then, um, I've got, a, I've got a, just a whitewash, they call this. Just to put a little white wine and uh, flour and water, just as a thickener. So, you know, get our, crank our fire up a little bit. So, we're just gonna thicken that up a little bit. While you're doing that, Jack, I got South Africa checking in. South Nick, Africa? Nick yeah, from South yeah. Africa. Oh my goodness, I never, Never been to South Africa. I've met a few South Africans. Again, all great, great people. You know, great, 
What a great country. I hope you're all staying, trying to stay safe down there. I don't know if it's hit you down there or not. Uh, you know, we're kind of, kind of getting just a, some of the local news. It's so vast and what's going on. But you know what? We're gonna all come through this. Indiana, Poland, Indiana. Ontario. Oh my goodness. Dallas, your uh, hometown. Dallas, there. Texas. What's your address? What's your address in Dallas? I probably know you. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna do a little. Uh, then uh, you have load this up with some cream. You know how I always do it though, put that cream container up top on a little bit of heat. There's probably about a quarter to a half an ounce of cream left in there. And uh, London. London, England. We got my good friend Bruno over in London and and uh, we hope he and he's taking care of his mom Elsie and uh, Bruno Mella. Scotland, Germany. Wow, this is Scotland. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, we've got a lot of Scottish in our blood. Ingraham, the Ingraham side of the family. And uh, man, I've always, I've always wanted to go Ireland, Scotland, England, uh, Wales. We're, we have Welsh blood in our, in our bloodline. Look at that. Heinz 57 going on here. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know. My forefathers, boy, they got around, right? What the heck? So that's a quick, just a quick Alfredo sauce with no roux. Is that thick enough, Jack? Yeah, well, we kind of keep it on the thinner side to, uh, to, um, you know, because then when we cook it, you know, we add the pasta and we, uh, yeah, right, right. and uh, more cheese. You know, my, my old trick is, if I had some American cheese, I'd be putting a little bit of that in there. Romania, Jack. Romania? Oh. Glad. Oh. From Ro Romania. Oh, Homa, uh, Nadia Komenich. Oh, oh my God. My favorite. Yes. Nadia yes. Komenich. Yes. Oh, she tremendous. 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 Beautiful country. Romania, rich in culture and history. Oh, man. No, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, so. sometimes you gotta pat, pat yourself on the back. It's so good, right? <laughs> Jack, there's so many. Some people said, "Where, where are the ones from U.S.?" Trust me, there's there's a bunch of them from the U.S. Florida <laughs> checked in. We had somebody from our hometown, Mystic. Mystic? Yeah. Who's that? Oh, uh, we gotta know that. Sorry, it went by too quick. There's so many people joining. <laughs> well, I tell you what, that's uh. That's our Alfredo sauce right there. I mean, we'll get an order of, uh, you know, maybe I could do a quick order of, uh, we'll do, we'll, we'll come back on live here in about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. We get a call in for an Alfredo, chicken Alfredo or shrimp Alfredo, and we'll do it. Give me, give me just a couple more, couple more questions. Uh, let's see. No green onions? Hey, Paula, Paula, Paula asked the same question. She, I, I, had a, I had a pack, I had a little bit wrapped up in plastic wrap, and, and Paula was like, "Oh my God, that's all, that's all the green onions you have." I said, "Paula, never." You know, you were away, you were away on vacation for a few days. We got it. We got this handled right here. But now that you mentioned it, who who asked that? I don't know. So it's it's going by so so all right. hard, okay. so fast, Jack. So here's what we do, because that that Alfredo sauce. It'd be nice. They're right. It would be nice. So, uh, so. Somebody asked how Axel's doing. Oh, you know what? I put him on some of my videos, and and then uh, I don't know some dog, some people that then dog was in their bag. You know, they uh, they called into that local health department because uh, we were shooting those recipes on our days off, and you know we're we run a clean operation here, and. Uh, but he didn't jump up in the food, and they're just hanging around, my buddy, you know. And uh, they called the health department on me, so he's uh, he's banned. <laughs> Axel's banned. <laughs> yeah. See, everything's better with green onions. Life life is better with green onions. All right. We did uh, we did the other night. We roasted a nice chicken. Then at the end, we had potatoes, uh, carrots, onions, shallots, nice shallots, and nice uh, hot sauce and mustard marinated with some jerk seasoning, and we'll put some flavor in it. 
and even some adobo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> adobos. Adobo yeah, adobo. Spice it up, and uh, a little bit of heat with a. Had some uh, sweet baby Ray's hot sauce. I'd never seen that hot sauce before. I'm I'm rubbing it around in the back of the cabinets, and there there's a bottle of that. Beautiful. I mean, how many? Sometimes you run out of that hot sauce. It's a, uh, you know, so. At the end, you know that, that that chicken was almost ready. We put down, put underneath like six nice green onions underneath. Oh, it's delicious. You know, really, they wilted down, and that's some of my best with uh, down to Hispanics. You know, on a wood fire, they do little some fajitas, and they grill. They grow these onions. Some of those, right, B? Some of those grill those whole uh, scallions grilled and okay. in a, a, a tortilla. Yep. But some of them had a big bulb, nice onion on the end of it, and uh, that's how they serve traditional fajitas. So, we got another question or two, Glenn? I got, I got Dominique from Zimbabwe. Oh my I hope God. I said that right. Oh my God. I know. It's, wow. That's uh, a lot of letters in the alphabet for that one. Somebody Using asked, all 24. Go ahead. Go somebody asked how long you've been cooking, Josh. Yeah. Today? <laughs> or, uh, a couple no, hours, right? No, no, no. Oh, man. Since I was 14, I'm 61. going to be 62. So, I don't know. I can't even add that high. It, uh, like, we, uh, but Gaspar was down here cooking some recipes. We did a Jaeger schnitzel, we did a, a Wiener, a Vienna schnitzel, Holstein, and did some nice classic recipes. And we figured out between the two of us, we had over a hundred years. So that's pretty heavy, you know. Um, started off as a prep cook, cutting vegetables for a salad bar, washing dishes, and then uh, we did uh, the steakhouse restaurant here in uh, Connecticut, big, big steakhouse operation, and then you know. Ever since, it's all I know how to do, unfortunately. But fortunately, I guess, when I got into it, it was, my goal was to always have a roof over my head and, you know, and uh, the odds are pretty good, you know, if everybody's got to eat, so I figured I'd, I'd always have a job. Somebody so. else asked, what's the purpose of adding olive oil and butter to the meat? Does, uh, Glenn, you want to answer that? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll let the answer do it. I guarantee he knows. And, uh, I probably but, do, yeah. Well, you, you put you yeah. just put butter in it, the salads and the butter. You know, you don't you can't get your pan temperature up as hot. The oil kind of kind of uh, neutralizes the the butter and for the flavor. And uh, the, the oil is you know it's got a little bit of flavor, not a whole lot of flavor. But that butter, you know, everything everything's better with butter. You know, and uh, you know that's 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 how we sauté with it. But you know, like in your dishes, less oil the better. What else we got, Glenn? Uh, let's see. What's the best tips for a slow cooked pork shoulder? Slow cooked. <laughs> Actually, yes, did yeah. we do that? We did that recipe, right? B B B B B cooks the heck out of those. Uh, I do. I uh, cook pork shoulders as often as I can. What do you think? What do you think? A little water in the bottom of it. Wrap I, it. I Cover it, cover it, you, but you brown it off first uncovered oh, yeah. in the oh, oven, yeah. in the oven? Yep. Oh no, I do it on top. On top? Yeah, on the stove? stove top. But it can be, depending on the size, it can be kind of a pain, but I'm telling you, it's way worth it. Once that heat it's gets, when that heat gets into the bone and you get that flavor, everything, everything close, that meat closer to the bone is where it's at. Whoa, watch out Glenn. Look out. Woo! Caught it just in time. Look at that. Ready? Had me talking about roast pork. I forgot everything. <laughs> Sorry, we forgot, forgot about the sauce. Jeez. Oh. Anytime, you know, I'm always, always uh, over boiled. So, you know, it seems like those cream sauces. Got to keep an eye on them, because once they come up to temperature, and it's slow, it's bring it up slow, because you don't want to. Uh, look at that. I don't even mind that right there. See, I didn't even cut that all the way through. Still, nothing wrong with that. You eat that on a plate, it's still good. Might not look as pretty as the fine diced. But yeah, I love uh, love roast pork. Um, you know, with, with some nice roast potatoes in the pan, you can't beat it. Anything else, Glenn? Uh, let's see. That last one. Right? Uh, Go ahead. Uh, I don't like that one. Uh oh. 
<laughs> How much salt and pepper to a pound of ground beef? <laughs> mm, that's a rough one. That's a rough one. Oh. That's your salt and pepper to taste, right? Salt and pepper to taste, that's that's my problem right here. <laughs> you know, got that gotta address that seasoning just right. Uh, Prefer taste, you know. Black pepper, you know, all the pepper. Black pepper is less spicy than white pepper. White pepper is less, less spicy than uh, cayenne pepper, and then all all the different uh, all the different uh, uh, spices. Heat, you know, everybody's got different heat. All right, so this one keeps coming up. What would your last meal be? Not that we want to have a last meal right now or the last supper. Last meal. <laughs> well, well, let's how about no, you? no, I got it, I got it. You got it. I got okay. it. Was. Uh, um, uh, you know Mark Greenfield? Mark Greenfield, he was my first customer next door. Uh, Greenfield family's been big in this whole area. Uh, he, pulled up, he pulled up the first day on a motorcycle, a motorcycle jacket. And uh, he says, uh, so you know, he was, he'd been a good friend, a you know, real loyal customer and friend. And he came in here, we did a lobster Newburg, a real, so you know I did a lobster Newburg with like a Lobster bisque, bisque sauce, and uh, but he did it. He did it a classic way, and he he does it for his family every uh, New Year's, New Year's Eve, or Christ, uh, Christmas Eve. And uh, you know, he laid it out on. Uh, were you here, beef for that? The lobster Newburg. No, I was not. But uh, anyway, we did like uh, we did it with focaccia bread. Normally, he would serve it over toast points, and I tell you what, we licked the plate, licked the plate on it. It was. Uh, it was so darn good. And the other one was Gaspar's potato gnocchi. Uh, both of those recipes either up on Cooking with the Blues or Chaplin's Restaurant. You can look them up. So this one's for me. They want me to answer a question. Can I turn the camera around? Uh, no. I'm not no. <laughs> no, the Phantom, the Phantom videographer. You hear, but you can't see. <laughs> so they want to know what the theme song to Cooking with the okay. Blues is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I can tell you it's public domain. Yeah. It was called Octo Blues. Octo Blues. Yep. Um, I don't know who it's by off the top of my head because I just can't I'll remember. Tell you, tell we, we did it. We did it about three years ago. Oh, yeah. We've been I'll using the same one for the last yeah. three years. I tell you what we have to do. We have to have, have, to have Pastor Jack to work up a number, an opening number for us because he he plays. Uh, well, B three. B three. He can play the B three, but. <laughs> he plays the piano up at View 24, 24 up on the, in Foxwood, their gourmet restaurant. He plays uh, Thursday uh, through Wednesday Saturday. Wednesday Saturday. Huh? Wednesday, Wednesday Saturday. four nights, yeah. And, uh, temporarily closed. Temporarily closed. All the casinos are closed. And, man, what are we going to do? We can't gamble anymore. So, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, but uh, we, we just ate dinner up there uh, a couple weeks back. It was... Uh, a menu, a recipe to die, I mean, uh, a meal to die for, you know, not to die for, excuse me, a meal to remember. Uh, how about desserts, Jack? Do you make desserts? We've done a couple. Did, uh, my, my, one of my best was the uh, chocolate bread pudding. Yeah. Uh, I did a key lime white chocolate bread pudding. Uh, I did uh, cheesecake, ricotta cheesecake, easy ricotta cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. I did a uh, pecan, uh, <clears throat> uh, a pecan chocolate uh, bourbon pecan pie. It was one of my signature deals. Uh, uh, Denise, Denise Joyner gave me that recipe. You know the Joyners, Gary Joyner. They moved on to Florida, and. Uh, but Denise was, you know, so kind to give me that recipe. Oh, it's a delicious, easy recipe. You want to do, uh, one, you want to do one more? One more. What's the, uh, what was that for? I'm sorry. Uh, hang on a minute. Sorry, Jack. They're mm. going so quick. That's all right. Uh, do you ever use charcoal grill or smoke anything? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's kind of a personal question, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, corn husks. Corn, uh, corn, corn husks. Corn husks. Corn, 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 not husks, uh, the, uh, uh, tassel, the tassel of the corn, they used to smoke that and roll that up. But, no, I was, uh, right here we got the wood grill, uh, Al uh, Aztec grill from uh, Dallas, Texas. This is actually a home unit. It was a prototype that Dennis Whiting, the owner of Aztec Grill Company, but my first Chap Chaplin's restaurant had a double, a double wide uh, wood grill. 
that's uh, I, I attribute that to all the success I had with that restaurant. And um, I love cooking over wood, charcoal, charcoals. You know, as long as you burn down the petroleum, you know it's charcoal's got some petroleum product in it. You know, cook that down and wipe your grates down. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I don't like to uh, smoke with gas. A gas grill. They cover it up, and I don't know. I just. Uh, I don't. I don't believe that's good. And um, you know, we cook with a wood oven over here. Um, you know, we haven't really done a whole lot of cooking, roasting in that wood oven. But I guarantee, if you get that fire going, B, what do you think? You shut it down, oh, yeah. close the door, and and slow uh, roast it. You get a some just like smoking. Um, you know, you can't you can't beat the taste of a, even a chicken breast. I used to say cook. Used to put chicken breast, salt, and pepper on a chicken breast, and cook it on a wood wood fire with the skin on. And people ask me the recipe. I said, you can't beat you can't duplicate nature's flavor. You can't. There's nothing in a bottle or a jar that can uh, duplicate that. So Jack, this was our first one. So we're just trying to get our bearings. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe we should do this again sometime. What you, do you bet. Think? You bet. Right. You bet. I love hearing the uh, questions and and uh, comments. Most of the comments, right, Glenn? Because we yeah, always get a couple. A, there's always a couple. Get a couple. But most of the people are pretty positive, and a lot of people checking <laughs> in from around the world, so to speak. So, oh. so that's awesome. Well, God bless everybody across the world. Faster Jack, you want to come in? And just give a closing. Yes. Statement? Yes. Yes, God bless America, God bless us here. We're gonna make it through this uh, coronavirus uh, situation. We're, we're gonna be moving in the right direction and we're gonna be doing the very best we can to help community and public while we pray Godspeed over this whole uh, situation, over the whole entire world. God bless this man, Daddy Jack, for his greatest, great work that he's doing in this community. You're God bless. Pastor Jack, as we all depend on you, stay healthy. <laughs> stay healthy across the world and. And this is a wonderful platform, YouTube. Thank you to YouTube for thank you. giving us the freedom to say it how we, we like and not to edit, not to uh, edit what we you know our thoughts and what we want to put down on video. God bless. God bless.